Hello, welcome back to Blender Social Life Noding. In this episode, I want to share uh, with you how I created this uh, node setup using Geometry Nodes uh, to dissolve uh, Suzanne or any 3D objects. So this is quite simple. Um, as you might already see, this is really just based on the empty and the distance between empty and the Suzanne. Uh, let me show you. The whole node is really under just under 10 nodes uh, this is possible because of the the nodes from uh, Brian this is from molecular nodes um, let me show you so I, I talked about this in the previous video by Brady Johnson so the nodes is comes as an add-on and it gives you a bunch of nodes to allow you to deal with molecular objects and PDB protein data but there is this animation so under animations category there is noise and there is also object effects okay we are only using those two and this is these nodes inside this node is a lot of other nodes but uh, in effects uh, let's take a look if I use control options and just block the flow you can see what's going on uh, at the moment it's basically first of all it's a Suzanne mesh that has been remeshed I often use this just to remesh Suzanne so we have like a uh, more interesting topology sometimes I also just use like a decimate just to make it like a triangulated or things like that okay so this modifier still works before and after geometry nodes okay and the next thing I did, uh, I know the fact that we can split edges, so I'm just breaking up all the polygon face of Suzanne that has been retopologized using these two modifiers. So we can really just scale it and make it make the each component disappear. But by just by doing this, it's not not that interesting. Okay. Sometimes you also maybe you want to use dual mesh so you have like a fake photonoy this also can, can kind of work to make it look a little bit more interesting but uh, and there's also a set position let me just do that first so you can see this is the noise this is the noise affecting Suzanne and it's currently animating let me I can control the speed of animation so it's like like a ripple okay so ripple controlled based on the distance the funny thing is that if it's inside the influence it's uh, the ripple disappear so so there's actually two effects going on let me also enable the flow again it gives uh, it makes everything hidden Okay, so this mall object effect. Okay, this guy give you control over empty and the objects based on the distance. There's a fall off distance. There's a scale width and a scale effect, like overall effects, like a, maybe like a multiplier or yeah, magnifier of the whole thing. Uh, you might have seen something similar with uh, Bradley animations I think there are many ways to do this uh, but I like this setup because it's under one add-on and then you just simply install the add-on and then you can use this node so it's a very kind of like a universal um, okay so the ripple and the noise is coming from this guy but I'm also using it with object effects um, so there's these things there's the distance itself distance value so the distance between empty and Suzanne it comes free with this add-on uh, it's automatically generated and then there's also uh, effects that will be normalized between 0 and 1 so I'm using the effects value to create this uh, to adjust this map range okay so I can control uh, the distance how 
things will affect Suzanne. Let me, I think in this case, I just simplified it, but I can control like how much it goes chaotic before it disappears or how much it's, uh, I think there's another thing. Yeah, basically just control to invert and influence the effects itself. In this case, I'm I'm inverting the amplitude because with without this guy, if I just plug this in, what's gonna happen is that Suzanne is already kind of reacting to it. It's kind of like a rippling, and I don't want that. So I, I like this. So it's a uh, it creates this uh, dissolving kind of effects. I think uh, that there must be um, a better setup so it doesn't yeah I think this is not too bad but there's probably like a, another way to do similar things where you can have like multiple influence instead of just a single influence um, you can perhaps use something like a dynamic paint to affect to affect the whole things kind of like to wait just to paint this on the fly I think multiple multiple effects is also possible um, I haven't tried it if I duplicate the empty and have two influence uh, I have a feeling I just need to duplicate this guy duplicate it's the empty that I need to pipe outside so one of them is affected by that empty, the, the other one may be affected by another empty. It might not work. Yeah, it is. It does something uh, that's a little bit weird. Yeah, I think this I think this effect is doing something that's a little bit weird overall to uh, to the objects itself. But it might be something that you you might want to try this because it it seems to turn it into just points, right? It's a it's really weird, but I I quite like it because you can create another geometry nodes and this time I can yeah I can turn it to in, into mesh and points and actually render this out. It's still wiggling, whatever inside it. This could be kind of effects that you can use. Anyhow, for now, don't worry about that. We have this. I can turn on cavity. And we have such effect. So Suzanne is already like uh, triangulated and remesh using decimate. Yeah, so these effects all working together. I can reduce the voxel size, make the dual mesh even smaller. I've done this a couple of times. So now when we break, Suzanne is looking a little bit more interesting. And Eventually, all these pieces just disappear and dissipate. There's one thing that has, I'm missing. I think it's the tur the turbulence. When Suzanne, when this thing get closer, all the pieces shouldn't stuck there. It shouldn't. It it should dissipate a little bit more. That's probably what uh, can improve these effects. 
this uh, I use distortion but it doesn't affect the the position there might be I think I could use another set position and try to offset each elements separately uh, there's a scale elements translate elements is what's what's missing I think translate elements scale element seems to be working so with with a uh, translate elements each of the pieces will fly away when this influence getting closer at the moment it's kind of like being suck but I'm sure uh, I've seen something similar with a uh, YouTube uh, Bradley animations or maybe Arendelle can maybe helps to make this effects a little bit better based on these simple effects I like to do this as simple as possible because this one is really clear and simple uh, so yeah hopefully you find this useful uh, thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time thank you bye